Governor of Rivers State, Jason Wiki, uh, says that Nigeria as a nation has performed abysmally for 61 years and it's time to quickly master measures to rescue it from the wrong direction. The governor gave the charge at the uh, March Pulse and Parade event in commemoration of the 61st Independence of Nigeria that held at Sharks Football Stadium, Port Harcourt. Take a listen. Governor Wike recalled the good old days. Nigeria's independence was charted by patriotic, knowledgeable and compassionate leaders whose vision was to build a united, peaceful and prosperous black nation. He believes that if subsequent leaders had continued on that path, the nation would have actualized most of its dreams. And indeed, the country would have become the leader of Africa. At 61, it does not seem to me that there's anything worthy of uh, celebrating, except perhaps the fact that we have remained independent and banished to struggle with our existence for all these years. At independence, we are at par and even better in resource environment and potential for development with our contemporaries like Malaysia, Singapore, and several other countries. At independence, and even now, we're a nation blessed with very hard working and resourceful people. Our youths are some of the smartest people in the world doing great exploits. Governor Wike remarked that the nation's democracy is weakened with constant violation of the Constitution and other institutions. The National Assembly has abandoned its check and balance rules over the executive, while the judiciary has lost its courage, integrity and commitment to justice. They therefore told lies when they say that our economy is growing and doing well, when no one is feeling the benefits of an improving economy, if any. Unable to mobilize sufficient domestic revenues, Nigeria is now one of the most indebted countries in the world. Yet, the federal government's appetite for more loans remains high, even as we are approaching in the true light of its tenure. The effect of this is to mortgage the progress and well-being of future generations of Nigerians with billions of debts burden in hard currencies. Above all, we must defend the basic structures of democracy and good governance by rising up to protect our rights to free, fair, and credible elections by demanding for the immediate incorporation of electronic voting and simultaneous transmission of results into the electoral system. If more citizens speak up to demand results from our leaders, perhaps more actions from them will meet the voice of the people. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.